G'day folks, it's great to be back at one of my favourite places, my happy place, to do a bit of bait fishing for the first time since the big floods. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. This place is featured on my channel probably more than any other fishing spot. It's one of my favourite places, it's close to home and I just love sitting here, drowning bait and just catching whatever comes along and I've caught just about every fish species in the region here except yellowbelly. I've caught carp, redfin, murray cod, I even caught a macquarie perch here last time I was here and I've caught blackfish here as well. Now I've come through here with my uh, machete and I've gone all Danny Trejo and cleaned the place up really, really good and if you don't know you what I'm talking about when I say Danny Trejo and Machete, do a search for the movie Machete. It stars Danny Trejo and it's got uh, lots of severed hands, arms, legs, heads. It's a very, very gory movie. It's a terrible movie, but I managed to watch it all because it was entertaining. Anyway, let's get the lines in. That's the same setup as every other time I fish here. Two rods. This has got a Patnost rig, the other one's got a running sinker rig. They've both got two Janjuk worms. And the rig with the heaviest sinker, which is this one, can go over that side. This second rod, this is the running sinker, that's a smaller sinker. This is the JD Custom Rods rod that I had made just recently. That can go down this side, and this is the rod that I usually catch the most fish on. I'm oh, just getting a bit of a nibble here on the, the Custom Rod. Oh, it's stopped. Oh, it's got a really good, there it goes. Getting a bit of biteage happening here. And... Missed him. They're shrimp nibbles. I reckon that's a shrimp nibbling at my worms. Must be, you don't normally get a lot of shrimp bites in this creek. Maybe there's a few shrimp in here now after the floods. Maybe they've made their way in. Nibbles, both rods. Nibbles, 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 nibbles. I do have another use for this machete, oh yeah, which you don't get to see on my channel. I won't tell you exactly what it is, but I'll give you a hint. It's got to do with the carp that I catch. Both rods getting nibbles here. Getting lots of very shrimpy looking bites. That's a better bite. That's a fish, that one. Got him. I've had a lot of bites that are from shrimp, like shrimp nibbles. This might be a redfin, I reckon. If it's a carp, it's a small one. Could it be my first of a yellow belly from this spot? Listen. Oh, no, it's got a bit of weight now. It's a big redfin. <laughs> it is a ripper. It's a thumping redfin. I've had a lot of nibbles that have been from uh, from shrimp. Just a little tap 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 tap. That's why I said this is a fish bite. This is a lovely redfin. Biggest one I've caught here for a long time. A yellow belly is the only fish that I haven't caught in this spot. Or a trout. I haven't caught a trout here. That's a good 30, probably 35 centimetre redfin right there. Gil Beauty! On the JD Custom Rod, I, oops, I've just caught a ripper and I snapped my hook off when I flipped my landing net inside out. That is a donkey! Let's get a measurement and a photo. That's a proper redfin. 42 centimetres. My biggest ever is 43.5. That's 40, 42 and a half. 42.5 centimetres. That's the biggest one I've caught for a long time. Wow, you beauty! Have a look at that. Still got the hook in its mouth with the worms on it because I uh, snapped the line and my net was tangled on it, turned my net inside out. Not only is that long, but that's fat. Look at the arch above its head and look at the size of the shoulders on that fish. That's going straight in the esky. That is an absolute ripper, the best red fin that I've caught for a number of years. Woohoo, you beauty! I don't know how accurate these are, but according to this, that's just a smidge over two pound. 2.0000001 pound. Folks, it's a two pounder. Right now, after a comedy of errors, it's time to put my line back in. I uh, went to retie the hook, but I broke the line, then I dropped the sinker, and the sinker rolled down the hill, then the line fell all the way back through the runners, and uh, it's in a hell of a mess. Anyhow, I put my line in the monster red fin hole, and the monster red fin said, God bless my soul, I like it, I like it, I like it, I'll take it. I can't tell you how happy that has made me, 
That was a proper donkey, a proper monster redfin. I got a couple around about 40 centimetres long last year, but they weren't 42 centimetres. There's a fair bit of difference between 40 and 42, and they weren't that fat. That was just fat as butter. I am so excited and so happy right now. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Please be another big red fin. Got him. Oh, it could be. It could be, you know. It doesn't feel big enough to be a huge carp. It's a huge carp. Oh, it's getting excited then. <laughs> I was getting excited and I thought, uh, here we go, I'm going to be on for another big red fin here. Don't go around that rod, dum dum. Hey! It's not a massive cup. I've caught them bigger than this here. I've got to get me net. Get up this side of that rod. They're not even fighting all that hard. Gee, I thought I was onto another decent ready then. A bit like a carp. Righto. Come on, El Carpo. I'm guessing around about... I'm guessing around about... 55 to 60 centimetres. I'll, I'll lay something next to it for scale. Look at that, the hook just come out there then too. Beauty, I don't have to touch it. <laughs> Right, I reckon around about 60. That is 60. 60 on the dot. 61. And while I'm here, I'm going to measure my machete for future reference. Machete is 59 centimetres, 58 and a half centimetres. Just for those times where I forget my, uh, where I forget my, my tape. Anyway, I'm going to cut the scene now and get my line back in. Now, when I said I'm just going to cut the scene, that wasn't the only thing I cut. Now, I'd only just got off the phone to my dad when that carp bit. He tried ringing me when I was putting my line back in before, and I said, sorry I missed your call, but I was actually just in the middle of singing a song that you taught me. He said, a song that I taught you? I said, yeah, I put my line in the big redfin hole, in the monster redfin hole. <laughs> When I was a kid, Dad used to take me and my mate Matt Hancock, we'd go fishing all the time, and every time Dad caught a yellow belly, I put my line in the yellow belly hole and the yellow belly said, God bless my soul. <laughs> Dad taught me that song and I still use it. I'll probably teach it to Holly so that she can teach it to her kids. Check this out, I've just uh, haven't had a bite for about three quarters of an hour, so I'm just putting some fresh worms on. But look at these. How lucky am I to have Janjuck worms? in my corner supporting my channel look at that they are tough and they catch fish and there's a link in the video description to where you can find them because you can buy them online they'll send them out to you in the mail they normally send them out early in the week if you put an order in they normally send them out on the monday so that they don't sit in a truck in the sun all weekend Slow, it's still there. And no, come on, come on, come back. Still there. Get a nice bite here. Got him. Bit of weight in there, so it'd be carpio this one, I think. Doesn't feel overly heavy. It might not be a big carpio. Although I think it is. It's another big fat red fin. You gotta be joking. It's been a few hours since I caught the first one. It's not as big as the first one, although it's not far off it. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. The first one was 42 and a half centimetres. I reckon this one looks more like 39 or 40. You've got to be kidding me. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't come to this place expecting to do this. I don't, I don't come to this place expecting to catch a feed of fish. I come here because it's one of my favourite places. It's close to home, it's relaxing, and I never know what I'm going to catch. These are an absolute bonus of the biggest possible way. <laughs> Have a look at that. Wow, that's another donkey. That might be 40 as well, you know. 
Whew, I'm gonna catch me breath. I'm gonna blow a fuse. I was so excited. I've just got me photo. I don't reckon it's 42, but I'm gonna say 39, maybe 40. It, it, and that's 41. That's 40. It's 40 centimeters. 40 on the dot. I've got a, a 42 and a half and a 40. I'll get the hook out. Hang on, I'm just gonna put the camera down for a moment. If I try and do this one handed, it'll end in tears. <laughs> Look at the size of that donkey. I can barely even hold it properly with my thumb. I've caught a, uh, a 42 and a half centimetre and now a 40 centimetre. What a pair of redfin, what a pair of rippers I'm taking home with me this evening. Woohoo! This might be a bit gross, but I'm going to show you this. There's something in its stomach. The other one was empty. This one's got something in its stomach. I can find, I can feel yabbies. There's a whole little yabby. Another whole little yabby. Another whole yabby, or well, part of a yabby. There's another whole yabby. Another whole yabby. Another yabby. So that had six yabbies in its stomach. Look at that, that's the stomach contents. The first red fin was empty, but the second one had six yabbies in its stomach. This is a term that I use when I'm yabbying a lot, but I'm going to use it today in a fishing video. I've hit the red fin jackpot. Oh, this is the sort of fishing the dreams are made of. I've been here for about three hours, oh, about two and a half hours. The fishing hasn't been red hot, but it's uh, quality over quantity tonight. Well, I put my line in the red fin hole and the monster red fin both said, God bless my soul. I like it. I like it. I like it, and I caught them both. Two big redfin. Not one, but two. I've caught 82 and a half centimetres of chunky redfin. I'm excited, in case you hadn't noticed. The light's getting low, it's currently quarter past eight. I've probably only got about 10. 15 minutes maximum to get one more fish. Can I get one more? Being that it's so late, I think I'll go home and uh, go to bed and edit this video tomorrow morning. You know why we go to bed at night? You know why it's important that we get a good night's sleep? So that we can charge our phones. Well, that's it for me, folks. I'm about to pull up stumps. It's getting quite dark. I have had an absolutely awesome afternoon. One that I won't forget any time soon. And I'm so excited for those big redfin. I'm more excited now than I was when VHS beat Beta out of the video race. This has just been unbelievable. Thank you all very, very much for watching. And tomorrow, I start filleting.